Good afternoon and welcome to a home vlog. Look at my teeth. What's wrong with your teeth? I don't think anything, but I've never like seen them in the shot before. Like, oh, okay. That's pretty interesting. Home vlog. Um, um, we just filmed the video for my channel, or I just filmed it. You just listened to it. Yeah, it was it was very relaxing for me. Yeah, I was kind of worried that it was going to be somewhat boring, but it was just. It was it was along the lines of like you know that like lo-fi chill hip hop channel. Yeah. That's what I felt like when I was in there because you're like, here's what I do. Not like that sounded. That's the way that I said that sounded like it was boring, but like, you're like. I don't know. Your voice was like very calming. Okay. And like relaxing. Oh, good. And like okay. I had like a stress filled morning uh -huh. because the baby oh, wouldn't the baby. go to sleep. Like he. So I've been getting up probably like uh, seven times every night. Well, and I feel so bad because I get up to feed him, but you get up in between the feedings too because he does that thing where we were telling you guys where he stomps his feet and rubs his eyes. Yeah. And you've been getting up in between the feedings to like stop him from rubbing his eyes and stomping his feet, but it's not waking me up. Right. And he's right next to me. He's literally right next to me. Yeah. So he's in a, in a bassinet next to me, like not in the bed, you know what I mean? Right. But like, I feel so bad that he's not waking me up, but he's waking you up. Well, I mean, but you stay awake and feed him and I get to sleep through that. No, so I So you're know. like awake much longer than I am. It just makes me feel bad, I don't know. So. I just like, I just have like less sleep length. Whereas like you stay up for like, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour feeding him. Yeah. And I'm sleeping through that. That's true. I'm just like up for like, maybe like 10 minutes, like, oh, stop doing that. <laughs> Let me go back to sleep. That sort of stuff. Uh, I wish that we could figure it out. So a lot of you guys have been sending over um, different like swaddling, unswaddling swaddles that we should use. Yeah. So like the zippity, the zippity zip swaddle. Um, a few of you guys mentioned that in the video the other day and we bought one. Yeah, it should be here, I think today. Okay, so hopefully we can try that and see if that'll work. A few of you guys have mentioned the Merlin's sleep suit. Right. And I don't think that that's something that we can use because I think it would be too warm for him. Right, because it's just hot in Florida. Yeah, even with our AC in our house, it's still like pretty warm. So mm -hmm. I don't know if we're gonna try that one, um, but I like the idea of it. Yeah. So. Um, oh, and speaking of which, he just like started wiggling. I think he's um, awake now. Is he awake? Okay. Yeah, he's been asleep for two hours, which is good. Because he was, was nice so tired. a nice two hour long nap, yeah. Yeah, he didn't sleep very well last night at all. Yeah, and he missed a nap this morning. Mm. And so, I don't know, we're supposed to have a live show today. I don't, he's back asleep already. I don't know <laughs> when we're going to have a live show. It might be like later on today, yeah. like around like five o'clock or something like that. We just have to wait until he's asleep so that we can get like, more done in the live show. Yeah. I know you guys love to see him in the live show and we love for him to be in the live show, but when he's in the live show the entire time, he gets kind of cranky because he doesn't want to just be sitting for an hour. So yeah, he wants to like do stuff. Right. So uh, we try to do it while he's like mostly asleep. Yeah. So also we wanted to have like a pool party today, but it's I like know. it's raining still. The weather is raining so all weird. yesterday and today and yeah. What the the weather's like super strange right now. But I am excited that I was able to film a video for my channel. So yeah. I've got my second video, which is very exciting. I did my everyday makeup look, which is what I'm wearing right now. And then we also filmed a podcast um, the other day, which went up yesterday. It or, went up on Monday, yeah, so yesterday. Okay, and um, it was kind of like a, not a controversial podcast, but it was like, para not paranormal, what would you call it? Parallel universes. Yeah, there you go. I don't know go. what that is. So it's not, not everybody believes in it and we don't necessarily believe in it, but we got a lot of like, the comments were very varied. Yeah. Like people were very like, I hate this. Or people were very much like, ooh, this was cool to listen to. And like, it blew my mind and now I'm thinking about things. So I don't know, give it a listen. Let us know what you think. It was really fun to talk about. Yeah, and it was, it was purely conjecture. Yeah, we didn't, like, yeah. we're not saying like we believe in this, but like if it were true. Yeah, what would it look like? What would it be like? Yeah, so that's all that the podcast was. Um, but we were ha having an interesting time reading the comments. Yeah. So if you left a comment, thank you. If you listened to the whole thing or part of the thing or just clicked on it, thank you. We appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I am extremely hungry now. Yeah, me too. So we need to figure out what we're going to have for lunch. Yeah. I don't know. Well, let's figure it out. <laughs> well, we got stuff really quick. We got stuff to make strawberry shortcake from Sally's Baking Addiction. Oh, you, you Sally. Know, you know how much we love Sally. So, uh, but a side note, somebody left me a comment or a tweet or something that said that they tried the Nutella 
had like recipe from Sally's Baking Addiction. Yeah. And it was the best banana bread they've ever had. But did they do it the right way? I like, think so. I think our issue was the peanut butter. Because yeah. we used natural peanut butter that was a little bit older, mm -hmm. so most of the oil was gone out of it, it was dry. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So I think if you're using regular old peanut butter, it has enough oil in it to make the banana bread moist. That makes sense. So I think that was what our issue was. I have found myself eating a lot of that banana bread and really enjoying it. It is good. I do wish it was a little bit like moister. I think that it definitely is better after it sits for a few days. For sure, like it's good for a week um, in, in like room, it covered in room temperature. But I think that if you, the longer you let it sit, the better it is. Yeah. But I found a recipe from Sally's Baking Addiction that everybody said, this is the best recipe ever. And it is her strawberry shortcake. No, strawberry, is it shortcake with the biscuits? Yeah. Well, I, we got everything to make it and I want to make it and it looks delicious. Yeah. But we also found a cool thing from TikTok that we want to try with the strawberries before oh, yeah. we make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys were like, are you going to get a TikTok? And I don't think we are, but we're going to try some stuff from TikTok. Yeah, I do own the Tim Tracker TikTok, but yeah. I mean, I'm never going to put anything up on it. Never know. Yeah. Probably not anytime soon. Right. But we are going to try a TikTok. We're really bad dancers, so I don't think we would ever be on TikTok. I think that would probably, isn't that what TikTok wants? They want you to be bad? <laughs> Um, another side note, Sony just came out with a new camera. I haven't really looked into it a lot, but a lot of people sent me the link to it, meaning that a lot of people were interested in my thoughts on it. Mm -hmm. It seems good. Uh, we've been using the Canon G7X Mark II a lot for these home vlogs. Same size as that. Mm -hmm. It has a little flip out screen. It has a built in, like we have this little fuzzy thing on top of our camera for wind noise. It has one that comes with the camera. Oh, that, really? like clips on, yeah. Oh. It has a three microphone array, so it should be, all of the specs are there, but every time that I see a camera that I'm like, oh man, those specs look awesome, and then I get it, I'm like, man, this is like, there's one thing right. that's like, come on. Well, so now, a while back, we made a video, I think it was before the baby was even born, but we made a video saying we found the perfect vlogging camera. Yeah. What was wrong? What ended up being wrong with that camera? It was too heavy. That was the one that I like oh. to use it, but you're like, no, it's too, too like cumbersome. Okay. Hmm. So. Interesting. And also that one had an external microphone that you have to like flip around. That's what it was that I didn't like. Yeah. So every time we flip the camera, it's annoying because you can hear it flipping and then I yeah. have to cut that audio out and then our like, it, it just makes editing a little bit harder. But so. we still do use that camera. We used it to film your video. Oh, did we? Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's better for sit-down videos. Yeah. Okay. I still like bringing it around because it's it's is high quality. Yeah. It's good. The, the zoom is really good on it. Well, and I'll leave that video down below where we talk about finding the perfect vlogging camera and you guys can see more of it there. But yeah. I'm but, interested to see what everybody's thoughts are on this new one, though. Yeah, are you going to buy it? I mean, I don't think so. No? Maybe. Hmm. You sound like you want me to buy it. Well, you th I thought you wanted to buy it. I want to buy everything. That <laughs> doesn't mean that's a good idea for me to buy everything. You know what we should do? Have lunch. Yes. What are you doing? See this weird thing in the middle of the garlic? Yeah, that's like the, the middle guy. The stem? I'm making pickles. <laughs> We're making pickles. Yummy, yummy. Yeah. We, I don't know why we never use the mandolin. We never do. Well, because it was in the cabinet and we it was behind something else. And so I didn't even know that we had it. Oh yeah. Like I forgot about it. We also don't have like the sled to protect uh, your fingers. I too, think that so. scares me. I know that was something growing up. My mom like literally used to cut her fingers open all the time on the <gasps> mandolin. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah. Um, all right. So I don't remember what the recipe is. Did we put the recipe in the last video? I think so. Okay. So that's good. So I can just look back at that. Heck yeah. YouTube. Science. <laughs> But yeah, so we're making some pickles. They were so delicious last time. You guys called them refrigerator pickles. Yeah. I didn't know they had a name, so I like that. I'm, I'm excited to make them again. Yeah, they were so, we ate them so fast. Was there something else that we should add to it this time? Um, Not that I know. Uh, I mean, just the, the garlic. Okay. I liked adding extra garlic, because I like extra garlic and everything. All right, I'm doing three cloves. I feel like that's a pretty good amount, right? I don't know. I think I did five last time. Oh, I know. We'll do three this time and see if they're just as good. Yeah, we'll see if there's a difference. Okay. During quarantine, right, Chef Jose Andres, so if you guys don't know who that is, he is a, I think he's a famous, like a celebrity chef, right? Yeah. He, uh, he does Haleo down at Disney Springs. He was doing, um, like, cooking tutorial type things on, 
Twitter with his daughters and they would do it like while singing a song from like Hamilton or something like that. And he cooks without peeling in garlic. He like just throws, like smashes the garlic with all of the little like papery stuff on it and throws it into whatever he's cooking. And I thought that that was very strange. Have any of you guys ever done that? That's super strange. Another thing that Jose Andres does that is so amazing is that he has been, um, anytime there were like hurricanes or um, just any natural disasters, he was providing food at all of these like local kitchens for anybody that needed food and he was providing food for any of the first responders and for um, essential workers during this whole quarantine thing. Yeah, so it started out like he went down to Puerto Rico for the after the hurricanes and mm -hmm. then he was out in Australia for the wildfires and in uh, LA for the wildfires and yeah, like everywhere. He just is like a, just an amazing person. So yay. I think, his, I think his organization is called World Kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's he's awesome. I'll leave a link to his um, organization down below in case you guys want to check it out or donate or any of that good stuff. Yeah. But, oh yeah, this gives me so much anxiety. Oh, I gotta find that sled thing. All right, the pickles are pickling. I think they're gonna be pretty delicious. What are you making? Oh, you're making that uh, chicken salad. Chicken salad. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I think I might put the other bag of chicken in here. This isn't very much chicken. Oh no? No. Well, you have a lot of extra pickles that you cut up, so. It's true, that's one entire pickle. Holy cow, yeah, let's add some more chicken. Oh no, this lighting is so terrible. I know. Somebody woke up from their nap and are showing their muscles. Yeah, hmm. look at those little baby muscles. Oh. Ooh, so strong. Wait, before he eats, what? I want to show you guys something that he can do now. Are you going to show him? Let's see. Let's see how you're a big boy. Oh, that big boy sitting up on his own. Still a little bit wobbly and I have to like... You have to prop him up, kind I, of. I'm not propping him up. I just create a, like a bumper around him in case he falls over. We need to get the uh, the like cushy floor for him. Oh yeah, that's something that we were looking into. <gasps> Buddy How are you doing? Jackson. Oh, you looking at mommy? Says so he does this. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's see, Jackson. <gasps> my big boy. Who's yeah. my big boy? You're doing so good. Look at those little muscly arms. Do you have little chunky legs? Yeah, yeah. He, he can sit up on his own now. Which is mind boggling because he like couldn't do this two days ago. I know, it's so weird like how fast they progress. Oh yeah, somebody's hungry. Can I feed that baby? Yeah. <gasps> little babe. Hi. Hey, my little baby. He's still a little bit wobbly. My little wobbly baby. But he's, he's doing good. Yeah. And his hair is like so much more grown in now. You can really see it from this angle. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of hair, I think. One day, maybe. You're also, doing like, so good. Himself like stopping himself with his hands is a good thing. Oh yeah. He's just like hitting everything. Yeah. Jackson. Hi, my babes. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's so big. I just like, I can't believe how fast he's growing. Ugh, my little baby. My little baby. I know. <laughs> All right, we're going to take this little babe out for a walk. We have sunglasses too, but. Although it is overcast out. Yeah. We're wearing ours though, so I. We're going to give you your little babe sunglasses. Do you even remember your sunglasses? It's been so long since you've worn them. Yeah, let's see. But he's sitting like a big boy in a stroller. Are these too small for your giant head now? They might be. Oh no, you look cool. Let me see. Let me see that cool babe. Wow. Yeah, look at you. Looks so cool. <laughs> he's All right. Like, what are these? Oh no, he's like, oh, I hate them. Ripped them off. <laughs> oh no, he's hulking out over here. Jackson. There he is. There he is. So cool. He likes them. Yeah. See how it makes it easier to see outside when it's bright? Well, it's not really bright, but it makes it easier to see outside. You want that bar so you can like touch stuff? Oh yeah. There's a sandhill crane that we saw out on our walk. It always makes me sad when you see them by themselves though, because they mate for life. So where's your mate? I feel like he's just a teenager. Where? He's out on the prowl looking for a mate. Where are your parents? This little buddy is enjoying his walk. 
He's really enjoying this bar that I put across there for him. Yeah. One day we have to get the little tray so he can eat while he's in his stroller. Oh yeah. He's just doing so good. I think he just likes being outside. Yeah. Me getting too. A, getting some vitamin D. Me too, Ooh, little bud. not really out. No, it's really not out, but <laughs> it, it actually feels really nice because it's not out. You look so cute in your glasses. If you guys came to the live show yesterday and you guys were like, hey, Tim and Jen, why is this so late in the afternoon? It's this guy. This he guy. decided to take a really long nap and now he's staying awake. <laughs> and everything is so funny, huh? But I think he's gonna go to bed soon or go for, down for a nap soon. Do you think? Yeah. I don't know. So we just finished with the live show. I don't know if we told you guys we were doing a live show. I'm not sure. I can't remember, but we did a live show. Thank you to everybody who came and hung out and chatted with us. But now this baby's having his din, din Well, it's not really his dinner. It's just like a snack or something. Yeah, we're just trying to get him excited for eating and used to eating, like putting things in his mouth. And, oh no, <laughs> did he just drop it? Yeah, he landed on me. So I wanted yeah. to show you guys something because a lot of you guys were like, hey, that seems like maybe it's dangerous. These are mushed up. Like they're, they're very soft. See how soft they are? Yeah. Like I'm just kind of breaking them up with very little force with my fingers. So we're not giving him anything hard. Yeah, the carrots are the ones that are like the, the mo cause they're like kind of stringy. They're the most, like, just, I don't, I don't want to say solid cause it's not solid. No, cause they're steamed and they've been steamed for like 15 minutes. And these carrots I have to steam for 20. Oh, 20 minutes? Wow. Yeah. Um, but. See, what, with the carrots, though, this is the only one that he seems to, like, not have a lot of interest in doing the baby led weaning with. Everything else he's been, like, right away, like, I could hand it to him like this, and he would just put it right into his mouth. But with the carrots, he seems to do this, and he's not 100% sure. I don't think he but likes then, the taste of carrots. But, but... What I do with the, what I've done the past two days with the carrots is I let him like experiment with them like this. And he just put this one in his little pocket. <laughs> um, and after a while, I just end up like collecting everything that, oh, except for that one because it went on the ground. Uh, collecting everything that he's been playing with and testing out and just pureeing it up and just feeding it to him like pureed carrots. But I think that's just because he doesn't like carrots. But like he really likes sweet potatoes. Yeah. Say Jackson. Say See, I he love... just broke that apart with his own hands, just barely moving it. Yeah. So everything is soft enough that he wouldn't choke on it. He really does not like carrots. <laughs> but the funny thing is, is when I puree it, he totally loves it. I wonder if that changes the flavor at all or I don't know. I, I, don't know. I put a little bit of water in them. Like when I puree it. Oh geez. Bud, you want to try a carrot? Show everybody how you love carrots. He's like, nope, <laughs> let's try this hand. You hate carrots. He does hate carrots. Say, mom, I'm not a rabbit. Don't feed me carrots, okay? Okay, let's see. Nope. Oh. <laughs> oh no. It just broke apart on his face. Don't Buddy, let him throw that one on the ground. You wanna try it? You wanna try a little piece of this he's one? Like, he's like, what goes in my pocket? <laughs> try it. Yummy. No, yeah, not yummy. That's the strangest part is that he likes it when they're pureed. Like I'll show you guys after after we let him like experiment a little bit. Ooh, yum. It's a yummy carrot. Mmm. <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> you don't like carrots, buddy. But he seems to have liked everything else that we've given him. He really likes sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. And bananas. You really like the bananas. Too. Yeah, the bananas are sweet, so I can imagine that those would be delicious to any baby. We're gonna try avocados again tomorrow. You're eating your finger, but not the carrot. <laughs> He's trying. You're doing really good with that one carrot in particular. Yeah. I like yeah. it when he wears these little like tank top outfits because his little muscles come out. Yeah, I'm telling everybody about your muscles. Yeah. Now that he's like done with the baby led weaning part of it where he's like not even really interested in the carrots. He kept like throwing them off to the side. Now I've put it in the, what is this thing called? The Nutribullet? And now I'm just like spooning it to him and he loves it. Well, kind of. Huh? <laughs> he just keeps spitting it out. I don't think he's a carrot loving baby. Let's see, look. 
This is my yeah, favorite. Yeah, I like it when you eat like that. When he goes, nom, 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 nom. More. Oh no, he just spit it all out. <laughs> well, you're doing so good, little babes. Ooh, what you doing? Okay, I haven't showed you guys at all what I'm doing because this one is a tough one. I am making pork schnitzel with German potato salad and cabbage and um, bacon. Sounds real good. I knew this was gonna be good because it asked me to cook the bacon in a tablespoon of butter. Yeah. So you know it's gonna be delicious. That's I have ridiculous. my pork schnitzel all pounded out and like all- Breaded and ready to go? Breaded, yeah. And then I'm going to cook the bacon and then cook up this cabbage and some garlic, add it to my already cooked potatoes, and then we're gonna have a delicious dinner. Yes. So I'm excited. Sorry I couldn't show you anything, but we'll show you the end. Yeah. yeah. And this little buddy's gonna get a bath. I know, and I'm like, I this is the time where I wish we had two sinks. Like, do people have two sinks? Yeah, I mean, people do have two sinks. Well, I wish we had two sinks. Oh yeah. <laughs> I feel like I could probably move him somewhere else and bathe him somewhere else. I don't think, he's still so little. I feel like we tried to bathe him upstairs. It just hurt and, my back. Yeah, he's too like down in the bathtub to do that yet. Yeah. So, I don't know. This is really the best place to do it. Okay, so I braised, I think this is braising, but I braised my cabbage. I added my, I had some cooked potatoes. I forgot, I don't know if I told you about that. I added some whole grain mustard this kind of mustard i don't know if you guys can see it in there can you see it yeah this is the best kind of mustard i tried to buy it at the store but we didn't sell it at our at our Publix. and then i'm going to add in some apple cider vinegar and then i just got to mix all this around and then i need to cook the pork and then dinner's done i think oh. i'm going to cook the pork though because jackson needs to eat yeah, more yeah i need to feed the baby so um also then we add in the bacon into our warm potato salad and then dinner Yeah. So that's what we're doing. All right, and here's dinner. We have our warm German potato salad with crispy bacon, our pork schnitzel, and then I mixed up the rest of the stone ground, uh, like whole grain mustard that came with it with just some Grey Poupon that we had in the fridge. Just a little spicy mustard to dip our pork in. I think this is gonna be pretty good. I mean, it looks good so far. I'm excited to eat this. It was very messy to make. Like, I don't know if you can see the mess on top of the stove, but it was very messy to make and it created a lot of dishes. This is literally all the dishes that it took to make this dinner. This, this was an empty sink before all of this happened. So, holy cow, lots of dishes. Okay, Jackson's asleep. Wow, look at this, like, this lighting really accentuates my <laughs> bags under my eyes. We're parents. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> So Jackson's asleep. Mm -hmm. We're eating dinner now. I've only had the potato salad and it is perfect. So stinking delicious. Also, the sky just opened up and there's an intense storm outside right now. Lightning, I, thunder, pouring I, rain. I thought it was gonna wake the baby up. Yeah. I have to say, because normally what happens with dinner is I make dinner, um, like you'll give the baby a bath, I'll be making dinner. Usually dinner takes me long enough to where it's like you gave him a bath and you put him to sleep. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of like your guys' bonding time is you putting him to sleep because I feed him all the time. So I have all this bonding time. And I think it's just a good way for you to like yeah. get that one-on-one. -on -one. And yeah. so you put him to sleep and then I'll start eating and I sometimes won't be able to eat dinner with you, but it was really nice because tonight we get to eat dinner together. We're doing it. Yeah. Also, we've been trying to sleep train the baby. Yeah. And I will say that Two times now today, mm -hmm. I have put him into his bassinet awake, mm -hmm. and he has, with the help of the rocking bassinet, put himself to sleep. Yeah. So now the process with the snoo is for me to ramp that down. And the snoo is our like motorized bassinet. Yeah, it's Just like a rocking case, yeah. bassinet. In case you guys don't know what it is. It's really a good tool to have. Yeah. Um, we rent it because it is kind of like an expensive baby item, but you can rent it. I, don't, I actually don't know if they're allowing rentals during this COVID stuff. I think they are. Are they? Yeah, because they sanitize everything. Okay. And the sheets that you get and the mattress that you get are new and you get to keep them. Mm. So. But I will say it's like a double-edged sword because now I feel like we need the movement. Right, and that's what I have to like, I was hoping to, to send it back by six months, which is right in now. a couple of days. Yeah. So I don't think that's gonna happen. I just need to try to get him out of it before seven months. Yeah. 
Although we would have, oh no, he's awake. He's just like wide awake. All right, hold on, I'll be back. All right, so now it's after dinner. We have consumed some desserts. <laughs> I'm still eating mine. Uh, you had one of those microwavable cakes. Yeah, it's like a mug cake from some- Duncan Hines. It was really good. And I had some banana bread. And some Nutella. And some Nutella. <laughs> we never fried up the banana bread. No, we gotta make it again. We're out of bananas. We have two bananas left. Dang. Not enough for the banana bread. The banana bread. We'll do it, we'll, we'll figure it out. But there are a few things we wanted to show you guys that we've uh, acquired. Well, okay, so this is stuff that we talked about in the live show that we were like, we can't show you in the live show, so we'll show you in the vlog. So if you're watching from yesterday's live show, this is the necklace. I'm gonna give you like a nice close up that our friends from the Disney Double Dose got. Sorry, it has fingerprints all over it, um, but it's a little necklace that has a picture of Bandit on it. And it says Bandit. And I love it. This is so nice and so, I was wearing this, and I'm gonna see if I can wear it with my Jackson necklace too. Yeah, I think you like could a... like layer them. Yeah. I think one of the, I think this one has to be longer. I think it is longer. If you can make the Jackson one shorter. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I love it so much. I think this is so like such a nice gift. So. Yeah. That was that, and then we also got some masks. These are from our Spreadshirt shop. So we do have merch, and this is from our merch shop. But we wanted to, before we told you guys about them, we wanted to try them out and just make sure they were comfortable and that they looked okay. This one looks kind of funny because this is as big as you can make the design on Spreadshirt. So I'm not sure about this one. Yeah. But I think this one looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And the only other option that we could get was a white border around this, which I thought, I don't know, the black border around the white piece of fabric is pretty nice. Yeah, the all white with the black design looked kind of weird. So we haven't washed them yet, so we can't no, like put can't. them on and show you guys But we will and then we'll let you guys know if it's worth buying or if we are just gonna take them off the site Yeah, so I don't know. I think this one did turn out pretty cool though. Yeah, yeah it's nice Yeah, have you guys noticed that commercials now are saying previously filmed and re-edited at the bottom? Mm -hmm. which is interesting because What what was the commercial before? I think it was just showing people not social distancing, like not physically distancing. Well, the one with Batista says like, stay at home. Because it was probably like, go out and enjoy yeah. a, a- Party down with Batista. <laughs> Whatever the, I don't even know what, I think it was for White Claw or something. It was for a seltzer, some- Corona seltzer or something? Yeah. But and now they're like, stay at home and drink your seltzer, please. Right. Don't leave. So, today was a good day. Yeah, today was good. We were supposed to have a pool party today, and I also wanted to make some strawberry shortcake today, but I think we're gonna have to do that tomorrow. Yeah. Because it rained all day, and we didn't, dinner took a long time to make, so. And there's possibly going to be a rocket launch tomorrow. First manned space mission mm -hmm. from US soil since the space shuttle. Wow. Yeah. So now, we don't know for sure if it's gonna happen because there's a 60% chance that it will happen just based on the weather, I yeah. guess. I'm not gonna go out to the Space Coast. I'm gonna try to watch it from the backyard though, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, because the president and the vice president are gonna be there and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get anywhere close. I think it's probably just gonna be like just a big commotion. Yeah. So. So, but all in all, it was a fantastic day. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Jackson was, he's such a big boy. He is. I can't believe how like fast he's growing. It's pretty intense. It's just like, it's so just surreal, like how quickly he's growing. And I wish that he wasn't, like I wish that he would just stay a little baby forever. Oh. I know, <laughs> I'm kind of sad about it. But and I think he'll be crawling like any day. Yeah. So. Pretty close. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, today was good. So there you have it. With that being said, we are off. We'll, we'll see, see you guys tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, and now it's time to pay, pay the, the price. price. <laughs>